Welcome back to Up North at 4. Rick Goff joining us now with the Minocqua Turkey Trot. That's coming up sooner than you might expect. I know we just got done with uh, Halloween a few days we ago, did. Rick, but hey, Thanksgiving's coming right around the corner. You wouldn't know it by the weather. I, seriously, <laughs> it, feels like, it feels like it should be like August. It feels like middle something. of summer, yeah. It's, it's crazy. 70s. Uh, but Rick, tell us a little bit about this turkey trot. What's going on on the 24th? This is actually the fifth annual uh, turkey trot in Minocqua we've uh, had and it uh, uh, has just been a great time and, and our focus has actually just been to for the family to, mm -hmm. to come out. It's just uh, obviously a time to be uh, thankful of what's going mm -hmm. on and, and just being in this beautiful creation, being with family and the winners get a uh, turkey. Ooh. So there's a little bit to go for there. Okay. Nice. So a nice yeah. little meal at the end, right? Well, you, if they have time to get it done. Exactly. <laughs> so I heard this is happening the morning of Thanksgiving, correct? Yep, 9 o'clock. How many people are you guys expecting approximately? Well, last year really surprised us. Uh, up until last year, we had been about 150, pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last year, it's, uh, we had a huge registration on that morning, which you can do, mm -hmm. of about 100 people. So we jumped to 250 oh, last wow. year. And so we're... Kind of looking at that again, yeah, but yeah. who knows? Yeah, I remember I, I was talking to you uh, off camera before. I was up there a couple of years ago, so 2020, we're mid-pandemic, and I remember talking to a lot of people there, and they were saying, I've never done this before. I'm not really that big of a runner, but a lot of things have been shut down because of the pandemic, and hey, this is a way to kind of do something yeah. on, on the holiday, because that was still going on. Is that sort of a, a similar sentiment you've heard from other people? It is, you know, we actually struggled that year, whether to do mm -hmm. it or not, and that's actually when we moved the race from downtown Minocqua to the, the church in mm -hmm. Woodruff, to Faith Church, and, and uh, it worked out well because we were able to space that year right, and being right. able to do things. And we also can go inside. Uh, there's a big gym there to do awards and stuff. And so oh, it's okay. actually, it, it has worked out well there. And um, But uh, it is, It's there's guys and girls that are there to win. And there's a heck of a lot of people that just go to enjoy a, a Thanksgiving morning walk. Uh, so that they can eat more later in the day. Got to work, got to work, Absolutely. earn your calories. Absolutely. Right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So is this a rain and shine event, I'm guessing? It is. Last nice. year was uh, ice and oof, uh, oof. Uh, rain, so yeah. Yeah, so anybody, any age could uh, participate in this? Absolutely. Uh, actually, uh, we get some nice medals. We have a lot of age groups that mm. uh, are award winners. And last year, I actually found the first place 70 and over women so we didn't have any 70 and older uh, for women last year, so maybe we can get some more this year. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think the really fun thing, too, about this turkey trot in particular is you guys do, it's not just a race. Uh, there is a costume contest involved with it. How did this come to be, and what are the judges looking for when it comes to costumes while you're running? Um, actually, uh, up, until this, and up until this year, uh, Rick Wilson promoted this, and he's the mm -hmm. one that started the, the costume contest, and it has been well-received, um, and uh, we kind of randomly pick judges so nobody gets in trouble okay. of uh, who they pick, um, but it's been great. Um, okay. Yeah, it just adds a different dimension to it. All right, all right. Yeah. I was going to say, because it was hilarious when I was there, there's people <laughs> The giant inflatable turkey <laughs> costumes. A couple of people went as like snowmen to kind of get into the theme. I don't know how you run in that because 5K is what 3.1 miles. 3.5, I would say. Yep, it's actually uh, 3.1. 3.1. 3 3 1. 1. I can barely do that as is, much less doing it in a full sweatsuit. I hear you. So I hats yeah. off to those people. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rick, I I just got to ask you though. I'm the type of guy with Thanksgiving rolls around. I'm on the couch. Football drinks all the food I can eat. I, how do you get revved up to go running on Thanksgiving? <laughs> because I, you're going to be sitting around football and food and I drinks the rest of that. the day. I, I what a way get to your start the morning. <laughs> You don't feel guilty like, at that mm. point after you've done that. The, the, the way to not feel guilty, Rick, is just don't have a conscience, like I always say. I, awesome. I give like those people credit, though. Mm, I could. Yeah. Oof, that, that sounds like a lot of work. Much less doing it on Thanksgiving. You got family coming into town. Is this something that you've been involved with though for a while, Rick? How'd you get it involved? It is. I actually. Uh, I. It's hard to believe at this point, but I ran in high school and college and. Uh, turkey trots were kind mm -hmm. of a part of my Thanksgiving day, mm -hmm. and for years I wanted to bring one up to to the Monaco area, and okay. and uh, finally was able to do it with Rick Wilson a couple years ago, and it's been good. It truly has been a family thing. The registrations at 
is already open now, okay. mm -hmm. and there's actually a lot of families because we do give a family discount uh, for the registration, mm -hmm. and and so that's been awesome. Yeah, uh, to be able to do that. So registration nice. is open now. You can also register the day of, I believe, yep. uh, and you can yep. find more information online, yep. of course. Yep. Monoclaturkeytrot.com. Easy enough to remember. There you go. Rick, Easy. We appreciate you yes. taking the time Thank to you. join us. Absolutely. In the meantime, we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back on about that four. I went out.